Let me get in one more question uh, in this session. Uh, one person writes, I believe there is a God. I believe that we do not cease to exist after death. I pray, I try to be good, I try to live by the golden rule. What I don't understand is Jesus. Why is he such a big deal if I believe in God? And if he is such a big deal, how would you advise me to proceed to experience Jesus? Uh, Don't start by trying to believe the big truths about Jesus. Start by simply putting into practice the things that he said, trusting him to be right about it. And if you do that, then you gradually find out what a big deal he is. I mean, the big deal about Jesus... So you'd say if there's somebody who finds himself saying, you know, I'm just not sure about could he be the son of God thing, instead of trying to get them to believe or them trying to force themselves to believe that, actually start by trying to live what it is that he taught. That's right. And that's how you find out what he's really like. You know, I, and I really do advise people constantly is don't try to make yourself believe something you don't believe. Belief is not something you can do by choice. It comes as a result of finding reality. Reality brings belief. But see, then you're kind of messing with people because you're saying they can't know something unless they're willing to actually change their life. That's a very standard sort of thing in human life is we want people to know things by trying them out. And that's customarily the way we get to know a person, which is kind of funny to talk about trying them out. We don't mean that exactly. But we get to know them. We have dinner with them. We talk with them. We work with them. And so but I don't think people generally think about God in that category. We expect yeah. to have an armchair discussion about it, mm-hmm. but not to actually have to do things in order to find out if he is there or not or who Jesus is. Yes, but in the realm of persons, arms discussions will never do. You know, it's, it's acting with them. It's joining with them in things. And really, the best way to know God is to act as if he were real and put your life on the line and see what happens. That's, you know, the atheist prayer, Oh, my God, if there is a God, save my soul if I have a soul. It's astonishing how many people have found God by praying that prayer, but they were at the end of their rope. And that's where we learn things. So you don't have to believe that it's true. You just have to be willing to try. That's all it takes.